What's good everybody? Welcome back to Told by T. Today we are getting into another kicking it with B reaction. This is another story time. So this is I smashed my girlfriend's best friend at her house. This is one of the stories that B started to tell during the videos that she was doing with Lily. And I'm sure a lot of people wanted to hear this one because smashing your best friend's girl, that's cool. But first, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, show the channel some love. Let's go ahead and get into the video. And I'm back with another video, so welcome back to my channel if you're new, welcome to the crew. But before we get into this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like and comment, and turn your notifications on so you know when I drop some heat. So listen, I had dropped my first video a couple days ago, and I had mentioned something about me cheating on my, my um, ex with her best friend, and y'all been wanting this story time. So... That's what this video finna be about. Oh, wait, I thought this was the story that she was talking about when she was doing the Q&A with Lily, and she was like that she smashed her best friend's girlfriend. But this story is about her smashing her girlfriend's best friend. All right, B. Oh, okay, B's done a lot of shit. <laughs> Let's go okay, ahead and get into it. Look. Look. Look at my right wrist. Look at my right wrist. Oh, those look, are the cats that Lily found. Look at my babies. yes. These are my babies. This is this is the room they in. This is the room they be in the most because I have two other dogs. And to me, they just so they just too tiny to be roaming around the house right now. So this is where they be at because they make my nerves too bad. You know what I'm saying? All they are really them, small. Cats like they cute hide. though. I'm noticing that. I'm like, not a cat person. They be like, they be like but they're very cute. Shit. So I don't want them going under my bed or going somewhere they're not supposed to be because they're just so freaking tiny so if you see them or you see me doing something it's not nine times out of ten it's them because right now they is fucking fighting around my little camera setup but like i was saying this video is gonna be about a story time of me cheating with my ex with her best friend <laughs> not so, saying yes. it with that big ass smile yes i have mentioned it a couple of it times is what it is. shit happens we've all done stuff that i'm sure we're not proud of told y'all back in the day I was a cheater. I was a little, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it, a little hoe. I, I, I used to say I was a retired hoe because, come on up. We all had that phase where we just, you know, we was a motherfucking hoe. I don't care, so don't, I don't judge. So don't come over here judging me because it's, it's in the past. You know, I don't grow, I don't grow for that. I don't mature. I don't know. I know what it's like. I'm the jersey up. No more, so, boom. I had this thing. <laughs> I had this thing to where... I liked it, best friends. So, because I used to always get into relationships and the ex used to always be the best friend. Don't ask me why, but that was just something I used to do. So, boy, I was dating this girl. <laughs> I was dating this girl. No, she wasn't a girl, she was a woman. I was 18 and she was like 27. And she worked from seven to seven. And <laughs> One particular day, like her best friend used to always come around and we used to, we used to give eye contact. You know, we, we like, I'm like, that. See, this is why people good. don't like leaving their significant others around their friends. Let me know down below in the comment section, will you leave your girlfriend with your best friend or your boyfriend with your, with your, uh, with your homegirl? Y'all know what I'm saying. Will you leave your partner with your friend, your best friend, acquaintance friend, whatever the case may be? Let me know down below in the comment section. Talk to me, I talk back because that's definitely a topic for debate. It wasn't never like I picked the wrong friend because to me, the girl I was with, she always looked at, to me, she always looked at better. But the friend was just, the friend was a bad girl too, you know what I'm saying? So shit, I'm 18, I'm, I'm fresh out, I'm fresh out of high school, I'm hot and ready to tie shit, you know, I'm like smashing a little any Caesar's female pizza? Oh, that no. give me any motherfucking <laughs> look and that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? So it was this particular day where it was her off day, my, it was my ex's off day. And she worked from seven to seven, and the best friend came over, and I'm just been, I'm at the crib chilling or whatever. It was a it was an off day. I'm just chilling at the crib, wanting her to get off. And so I guess the best friend didn't know it was her off day. You know what I'm saying? So she pulled up, <laughs> she knocked on the door, and I answered. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "Where who the who at?" I'm like, "Well, she she at work." And then so she was like, "Oh, so she not here?" And I'm like, nah, she not here. You know, her shift is like from 7 to 7. I threw that on in there to let her know, like, hey, you, you know, you think what I'm thinking. We got time. We got plenty of time. Like, you know, I think the camera cut off. But it was like 
9 and 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, I'm throwing hints like she, you know, she worked from 7 to 7. We good. If you want to hop in, come kick it with me or whatever. So boom, she came in, you know what I'm saying? It was a trap. <laughs> that shit is a trap. I'm like, shit, you know, I've been peeping you looking at me and I know you've been peeping me looking at you or whatever. So she, I take her upstairs, you know what I'm saying? She said she has to use the bathroom. So I take her upstairs to the bathroom. And you know me. <laughs> I didn't go nowhere else but the room. It was like the bathroom and across from the bathroom was the room. So I went on in the room. And when she came out, I was like, come on, let's kick it in here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? By that time, she was in the bathroom. I done already strapped up. Oh, I got no. this thing to where, like, you know, as a stud, man, <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I hate the process of strapping up. Like, we'll be all in a moment. We done foreplayed and all this shit. So, we'd be like, okay, boom, we finna smash and We'll have to stop. So, you just, just, <laughs> you just assuming that this girl won't fuck you. That's bootstrap okay. on and started back over again. I never liked that. So I've always been the type before we even get started, I'm already strapped. You feel me? So boom, while she was in the bathroom, I went in the, I went in the room. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So I she, hear. she came out, I'm like, come on in here and kick it with me. You know what I'm saying? Hear. So she, I turned on the TV, turned on a little movie, whatever. We got to chop it up a little bit more. And then one thing led to another. You know what I'm saying? Like, we going. You know what I'm saying? We had in our business. We smashing one another all the up. And something told me to end it. Something like, I right, did. you don't fuck her. Now it's time to get this bitch on out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's like 1230 now. <laughs> it's like how her, how her house was. It was like she had the front door and she had the back door. Her friend ain't shit. The kitchen. I didn't say that already. Stop her friend ain't shit. She had the back door. If y'all see my phone door like jigging, it's cause they right here playing on my little cords and shit, cause my phone is charged, so I got cords just every fucking hour. But something told me to just get up or go, like get up and stop smashing the girl. So boom. Downstairs was in the kitchen, it was a door that led out the back door. And remind y'all, I'm smart. So when I realized Charlie was finna come in, I told her to park her car somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because it's her best friend. She gonna know her car or whatever. Right. So uh -huh. her car was parked somewhere else to where if she pulled up at home, she wouldn't even know she was there. So boom. <laughs> it's like God was with me because I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the girl I was with, <laughs> oh baby, she was a crazy one. Like, she used to fight. Like, she, oh, she like the tussle. Fuck. She fought the girls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know that TikTok. <laughs> it's like, I know how y'all girls like to tussle. I'm gonna fight her. I just didn't want to get caught. Like, because if I got caught, then we just gonna have to beat each other ass. And I just didn't want that. Because I don't like really fist fighting who I'm in a relationship with. So, boom. It's like we walking downstairs. And then when we walking downstairs, it's the front door. I hear her saying something to the neighbor and she looking for the keys. You know how you hear the keys just rumbling and shit. So we looking like, oh shit, like we, we, we really think we finna get caught. So she over like, oh shit, I'm finna have to beat my best friend ass. And oh I'm like, I'm shit, here not you in the wrong, you about to beat your best friend ass. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm finna do, but bitch, you finna have to get the fuck up on out of here. So boom, I, I, I stepped into my, you know what I'm saying? I stepped in too. I stepped into my mom like, all right, bitch, check it. You finna go out the back door. Had that brain and blast. When she <laughs> you, the rest is yours, baby. You get caught out there, you get caught out there. You make up your own motherfucking lie. I'ma just act like this. I ain't even know you was here. You feel me? Hey, babies. If she yeah. was smart, she would have hit the back door, made sure that she looked good, and then came, gave it a minute, and then came around like, hey, what's up? Like, I came by to, you know, see what was up. Stop playing and fighting. But I guess because the girl came home early, that wouldn't have worked. Because she would have been like, why are you here? Yeah, she should have just took her ass home. <laughs> but she got out the door. And so soon as it's like, soon as I'm closing the door, she walking in. And when you walk, when you walking in the door, it's, you can see the kitchen. You can see the other door in the kitchen. So she was like, what you doing? I said, nothing. I was just taking out the trash. And... I, I stepped into my mode, so while, I, while she was going out the door, I had the trash bag. I'm taking out the trash for real. <laughs> so she can see me taking out the trash. She's like, oh, okay, okay, cool, yeah, because it was, it was a lot in the trash anyways. I was wondering when you was going to take it out. And 
we never got caught, bitch. I went and we went on about our motherfucking day. But I ain't even gonna lie, that was the most scariest thing I've ever dealt with because <laughs> I ain't never got caught up like that. And I thought I was finna get caught up like that. And because this bitch was crazy, y'all. These cats is the cameraman right like, now. I probably, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck I would say, but this bitch was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It would have went down in that motherfucking house. She probably, hey, I'm just letting y'all know it would have went down in that motherfucking house and she would have found out because. They was best friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was like this. Don't judge me, you know what I'm saying? But they thought they, they was tight. like this. And I kind of felt bad, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. That's why I really didn't want to get caught up in it. Oh, but I just felt like God. Shit, you want to say the devil because, you know, I'm doing something bad. Whoever God. Yeah, I was about to say God ain't, God ain't throw you that. Ooh, somebody God was didn't with throw me that you particular ooh. day at that particular moment because, baby. <laughs> It would have went down. But after that, I ain't really like, I ain't really like do too much with the best friend of mine. Cause like I said, I felt bad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I kind of like, I did, I wouldn't say I didn't make them not be as close. But when it came down to the best friend of her coming over and kicking it with us or she asking her best friend to go out. I was like, nah, we don't need the bestie right now. Let it just be us. We always had bestie around. But, yeah, that's my little quick story about when I almost got caught up with my uh, ex-best friend. All right, that's my little video about the time I almost got caught up with my ex-girlfriend's best friend. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick video. If you did, smash that like button. Comment and subscribe to my channel if you already did. Do all of that for the and original video and do it for the reaction as well. Talk to me in the comment section. I'll talk back. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one. And remember to let me know whether or not you leave your significant others around your friends. Because personally, I think that you have to trust your partner. And there's also nothing wrong with your, your significant other and your friends being cool. They're not going to be friends, the best of friends, but they can be cool, cordial to each other. You know, I shouldn't be afraid to leave my partner with my friends so i don't know but y'all let me know y'all thoughts i'll check y'all out in the next one